Good morning. Today we are going on an adventure for the first time. So me and all four children, so five seats being consumed by some lovely bunch of people. Um, and we are going to Western Supermare. And I'm thankful that the charge is at 100%. The display, yeah, when I turn it on, you'll see later on most likely, is displaying very low mileage. Um, attainable 126 let's see um, you saw a brief flash over there just turn off the car so um, yep yeah, 8.30 I'm going to set off it's only 70 miles there I say only um, I was hoping to do it in one charge but I'm not going to push it with all the kids in the car of course so uh, yep yeah, this sh should be good fun <laughs> So we're at 188.9 miles, I've just done about 0.4 of a mile. I just thought I'd better film this dashboard. So 126 miles on the GOM and 188.9 miles. So we just need to run through and see what it is when we get there. It should be about 70 miles. Okay, let's see if we can get this thing. So we've got no route planned. Can we click on that? Plan your route. Yes, I do want to plan your route. Let's have another look. Address. Let's do that. I want to go to Western Supermare, so City Post. Because there we are, Western. If I read it properly, it might help, wouldn't it? Where's the space? Super Mare. Western Super Mare. Center. Let's do that. Okay. City center. Western Super Mare. Looks like the right area. Select. There we go. 51.4 miles. <coughs> not right. It's a bit weird. Okay. Apple Maps says it's 70 miles to that point. Not. 51.4 but there we are okay we we'll just see what that is let's just double check apple maps on that front and see what it says and i'll come back to you okay and apple maps actually did say it was 51 something miles so that's all good we're off again yeah, really really far away mm. <laughs> Okay, we're here, 239.6 miles now, 82 miles left. Um, so if we travel 50 miles, that's really, really good, considering we've been going 70 on the motorway. Um, it's absolutely brilliant. Where are we going, Rubes? Seaside. The seaside, where are we going, Joel? Where's my 
<laughs> what? Seaside. Right. Schoolboy error. Right. Let me move the car forward. Right then. In this mess. We need to find our stuff. I think they might be excited. Oh, I can't quite catch this one. Let's do it. Can we do stairs? Let's do stairs. Woo! Yeah. Well, one, two, three, four children. It's a good start. I'm trying to lose any of them today. Sandy shoes. Sure. Oh, and let's have a look here. So what we got? We got 80 miles mm, Daddy, I'm to go, go and we are on 240.1 right now. So we're gonna head home. It's 51 miles should be easy. Okay, need to navigate back home now. Um, it's four degrees currently. It was minus one, I think, when we set off this morning, and it was naught degrees when we got here. Um, at about whatever it was, 10 o'clock, I think it was. At the end of the road. Okay, okay, it's warned us that it's got a toll charge, which is on the Seven Bridge, so that's all fine. It's got little red things on there. What's that all about? Looks like lights. <laughs> miles exactly says I can do another 20 miles and there's the stats so far I didn't reset that before we set off but I this thing really like the feature where this changes color depending on which you have seen in some of the clips depending on how your driving style is like and it goes all purple when it's angry at you because you're driving really fast <laughs> but it's quite nice actually it goes different shades as you go through and it's really nice having this TFT screen where, for instance, if I just boot this up now, uh, let me show you, when you scroll something on there, see that it's green at the moment, because I was green coming back. But if I put on speed limiter, it scrolls up and down. 
So it's making full use. It doesn't just come on with that text. It's got a graphic, an animation. It actually scrolls up and down. I like that, it's a nice touch, that. Um, but I had a speed limiter set to 70 miles an hour. And of course, it's mostly all motorway this journey. And we've got back, let's have a look, will it tell me the temperature? Well, the temperature now is two degrees C, it's flashing away at me. So we've had a ridiculously cold day. Really, really cold day we've had. It has done really, really well. No stress at all, did no charging at all. Um, if I was in the my old Leaf, the 24 kilowatt hour one, um, well, we'd have had to charge there. We'd had to do it, we'd almost, we'd only just got there. And we wouldn't have gone, if it had gone 70 miles an hour, we wouldn't have got there in one stretch, um, even though it's only 51 miles. Well, we might, yeah, we might have done. We might have just got there. We should have got there and then put it on charge, basically. Um, which would have been fine, because we're there all day. We'd have had enough charge to get back home again, um, but it would have required a charge. Um, whereas with this, obviously, much bigger battery, uh, there and back, no problems, 20 miles to spare. 24 hours to charge it on that really slow, 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 slow uh, thing. But it's better than nothing. I couldn't use this car properly without that for the interim until my wall unit's put on. Um, so it doesn't bother me. I'm thankful for it. So 60% when I got back. Oh, time to clear that out. Nah, let's do that another time.